You can define Ryan's place as straightforward and simple with a touch of smoke. A place to sit alone or party with a crowd. And with a different special every weeknight, planning is easy. On Scott and the Marina in San Francisco, it's called Maybex. <laughs> We're two peas in a pod, pod, really. I'm Aaron Tensing, and this is Eric Love, and we are the chef owners of Maybex Restaurant. We basically forced ourselves to become friends. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we, <laughs> <laughs> we have yeah. no choice. We get along really well, actually. Uh, there's times when we butt heads, but yeah, we finish um, each other's um, uh, sandwiches. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times, we do actually more wonderful. sandwiches than sentences, really. A lot of the food is based on classic American dishes. One dish that's close to my heart is our chopped salad. Very simple, classic, and it's served in a Pyrex bowl from the 50s that my mom found on eBay. My mom says, oh my god, you have to have those bowls. So she went online and bought every one that was available out there. A chopped salad. You see it across the room, you say, hey, what's that? And then you order it because you want that cool bowl. But there's something good inside it, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's really about the neighborhood. The people in the neighborhood are really supportive. When I leave a restaurant, I don't know, that, that satisfaction that yeah. you feel. It's a personal experience. Yeah, Eric and I are on the floor yeah, we, a lot. We take a lot of pride in knowing our guests and treating them well, and that's why they come back. Yeah, people yeah. go back to restaurants because of how they were treated. So. Let's talk about Maybex because this is a cool spot. It is such a cool spot. Look, here's the thing in San Francisco. To open a restaurant's hard yeah. enough. Mm -hmm. To open one on Lombard Street's hard enough. Two guys, Eric and Aaron. Yeah. When you have a place where chefs run the food, bust the tables, mm -hmm. make the pasta, they're a pastry chef, they're a host. They yep. come you out and talk to you. Bro, yeah, they, they sure were did. Yeah, sure. so I, friendly. Everybody was, like, was uh, really I, friendly. I, yeah. I, know, I, I, was so, I was so I nervous. No. I sent two of you to the marina. When is the last time? I know, you, I well, no. When is the last time you're in the marina? Well, no. Look, it was not my crowd. It definitely right. felt very marina. It was right. right. However, yeah. the staff was my people. Oh, yeah. I saw yeah. people I identified with go. on every level right. there, and of course, people were very friendly in the tables around us too. I, I went with three friends, and we were loud. It was Friday night. It was it was on jam. It's that New York loud. Right. It's that, yeah. I like you it. know, yeah. I felt almost like I was walking onto a movie. Set. Because you know how the lights well, they had the are. Yeah. Above. It, it was lovely. busy because it was their beef Wellington night. When oh, I went on a that's what okay. I want to go back but for. I did, oh. But I didn't have beef Wellington. But I, They have a carving party. Know, you go at 7 and the they do a carving party. Okay. All right, so thank you for making the trek back to the kitchen. We just decided to do beef Wellington once a week. Uh, we played around with it and got it to a version that we really liked. And people started to ask if they could come back to the kitchen and see us slice it. So we decided to just start inviting the whole dining room back to the kitchen. We call this the ceremonial slicing. And hopefully, like I said, we have a nice ring of duxel here. And we do. So there you go. I discovered that mm -hmm. I like octopus. Oh! So delicious. Mm -hmm. Cooked to perfection. And then you take it with their special sauce and then a little chunk of potato and eat it all in one bite and the flavor just explodes in your mouth. It is the perfect bite. Yeah. Uh, there I are like so many things I could say to oh, that. Did, did, you have, yes. did you have the garlic bread, though? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. Roadblock. Roadblock to heaven. No, that we ordered good. it twice. You had a loaf and then you ordered another we loaf. We did it because loaf? it was so delicious. Ah. It's wrapped up like a little baby, like swaddled. swaddled. It was literally swaddled. <laughs> and then the fresh chopped garlic on top, generous amount. And the cool thing about it is people don't know this. You go to the bar, they have fried pickles. They have a chicken sandwich at the bar. The Wellington won me over, yeah. but I think the chefs won me over. They make all the desserts. They make their bread. I mean, oh, I, yeah, chocolate, yeah, the chocolate. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, wait, dessert. Hold off on uh, dessert, oh. girls, because I want to talk about the pork. Oh. oh. The pork was amazing. Let's talk meat. And it had a grilled apple mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. top. And mm -hmm. the flavors of that smoke and sweet mm -hmm. and the pork chop was so, not dry. Mm -hmm. The potato, mm -hmm. which uh, had kind of a curry, kind of almost like a masala. Mm. Uh, really? It, it was, yeah. Vuli 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 Vuli
Um, <laughs> but, but it was very yeah. good. Well, we had the spaghetti and meatballs. Oh, you did. Which were delicious. Mm -hmm. I mean, how can you really can't screw up spaghetti and meatballs? But Rocco, yeah. you go from Rocco's to this. Yeah, yeah. it was pretty good. Pretty I mean, good. it wasn't the best spaghetti and meatballs I've ever had. Yeah. The thing that really knocked our socks off was the wild flounder, the fish and chips. Wow. And you know, usually when you get fish and chips, at least in my experience, it's like three or four little pieces. Mm -hmm. It's right. one giant piece of right. delicious white flaky wow. fish. I mentioned earlier, I'm not a huge seafood fan, but that fish was But you are now perfect. an octopus lover I and a flounder. I guess I am. Yeah. I was, and they have a romula that you dip it in right. with tartar sauce that was Homemade just... Homemade tartar sauce. I <laughs> want to talk a little bit about the wine list because I was super impressed. I mean, it's two pages, affordable wines, really eclectic, right. delicious, and I was impressed with, with the wine. I mean, I when I looked at that wine list, I mean, we mm -hmm. wanted to invite more people just to share, just to try because yeah. it was affordable. That's what's cool. One person at the bar can have a glass of wine, a bottle of wine, BB. Don't BB. look at her uh, or me. <laughs> so you two are there next week. Uh, and a pasta and then have a little spumoni. You were taken back to Italy but in San Francisco. Yeah. And we did Scott have the spumoni. Yeah. What'd we you had think? the chocolate lava cake, the spumoni, and the almond pound cake. You had every dessert. Oh, oh yeah, we did. Well, the homemade gelato is so delicious. And I think I really liked was the pistachio. Yeah. Uh -huh. This had giant chunks of nuts right. in it. And the mm -hmm. flavors were so uh -huh. good. And then the chocolate cherry and the vanilla. It all just came together. Right. And that pound cake is dense and very almondy dense. with the yes. little crisps on the Powdered side. sugar yeah. on top, fantastic. I had the chocolate. The chocolate was to die for. Oh. Uh, I yeah. took one bite of it and I just like closed my eyes and just went, I picture people are looking, yeah. what, are, what is he doing? Are you say, on? You almost say that. All right, science. your spot, wrap it up for us, Ryan. Hey, chef owners, they get it, understand it, and great food, great pasta, great desserts, great meat, everything. Go there. All right, baby. Walk in immediately. You feel special. Great from the beginning to the end. The food is to die for. Go back. Hey, and Roma. Perfect for a special occasion. Everything is delicious and wonderful wait staff. Going back. All right. If you would like to try Maybex, it's on Scott Street at Lombard in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-400-8500. It's open for dinner Tuesday through Sunday with lunch on Saturday. Reservations are recommended, and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $50. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... Oakland International Airport. Now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com IRG has thousands of surfaces in stock now. Surfaces. Selection. Service. IRG at MarbleCompany.com. Total Wine & More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine & More, now with eight Bay Area locations. TotalWine.com. Sutter Health CPMC announcing its newly opened Mission Bernal Hospital with all private rooms and comprehensive labor and delivery services. SutterHealth.org slash Mission Bernal. Redwood Credit Union, community banking for the North Bay and San Francisco. Business and personal, online and mobile, plus nationwide ATMs. Banking for people who call this place home.